Let's bless each other. May the peace be with you. You are the missionary to save this world. You will take possession of their land. Thank you for graceful praise. At this time, may our worship lay down everything that we have. But may we be captured completely, completely by the Word of God only. Because only Word can save the world. May you hear and listen carefully the voice of God today. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Our every day, when we open our eyes, it is a battlefield. And week by week, if we really open our eyes, it is a battlefield. That's why God has given us in the field of battle so uh, not to fail the word he has given is the book of Deuteronomy the theme of Deuteronomy is having the evidence and enter the land of Canaan the Israelites were in the desert for 40 years God gave them many incidents and the last right before entering into Canaan the word that he really concentrated it is the book of Deuteronomy is a conclusion of all uh, the walk walking walking 40 years of desert It speaks about the secret of land of Canaan. That's the word. How, mu how much did God emphasize? Is uh, Deuteronomy four nine? He says, "Be careful, so that word will never leave you." It is recorded, not that not let the words leave from your heart. And second, teach them to your children and to their after them. At the end of verse 9, teach them to your children and to their after them. What does that mean? We need to teach the word to your children and to their after them. That's right. The word is given from God is the only complete thing in this world. If you accompany with the word, and you will enjoy a blessing, saving blessing of saving this world. God has given us tremendous things to us. He created us in His image. The blessing of being created in the image of God, we need to enjoy in our walk of faith. And God has given us unlimited things and it is spirit. It is Genesis 2, 7 as he blew his it speaks about the Holy Spirit as God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life he talks about uh, the fact that we are we are all saved And the most precious things in our lives, we need food. The, the bread of 
Spirit is, it is Word of God. It's Hebrews 4.12, the Word of God is living. Why are you here? You are to hear and uh, listen to the Word of God, uh, which is living. The walk of faith is holding on to the walk, uh, Word of God, which is act, uh, living and active. And it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and, uh, joints and marrow. It saves spirit, souls, and, and joints and marrow. That's how powerful the Word of God is. Only thing we have to do is grab hold of the Word of God. Today's title is Always Be With the Complete Word. Let's repeat after me. Always be with the complete word. Let's say this again. Always be with the complete word. The bread of our spirit is the word of God. That, that word is living and active. So that's why you need to accompany with this word. Then you will, raise, you will be raised as a witness and evangelist in this world. To be with the complete word, we need to live with new grace every day. God gives His words to His children every day. That's why we need to live with new grace every day. Even today's verse, uh, chapter 4, verse 1, it says, Hear now, O, o Israel. What does that mean? What's the reason that God gives the Israelites the word again? Whenever the important, uh, significant moments it is written, the Bible, it is written that the word is given to this and that person. God has already given the word to the Israelites. But today it says, hear now, O Israel. Why does God say this again? Because even those who experience God's power already, need to receive new grace every day. That's why we need new grace every day from God. We sing the praise today. Every day I get, I'm getting closer to the cross. Yes, we are thankful for the grace of yesterday. But God has prepared new grace for you today and God has called you to this place. That's why we need new grace for today. That's why we need to go before the cross every day. The work of receiving a new grace starts from the receiving the word. The first, before you do anything, bef first, before you start the day, before you start your week, before, first thing you need to do is receive the Word of God. To receive the Word of God first, what should you do? Stop your thoughts. Many people are sitting in the place of listening to the Word of God. They lay down their thoughts and listen to the Word on top of it. The, the time of listening to the Word of God is battle time. Satan knows that you will be successful when you listen to the Word of God. That's why he hinders you and attacks you. The, the one example is laying down your own thoughts already and then listen to the Word of God on top of it. And that you reject, you accept what you like, you don't accept what you don't like. When you in, in, uh, in respect of food, you are picky on what you eat. You don't listen to the word of God by your with your thoughts. 
you need to accept the th uh, word of God as your thought. That's how you change your imprint. That's why you need to re-edit yourself with prayer. Do not, uh, have, do not lay down your thoughts and listen to the uh, uh, Word of God on top of it, but listen to the Word of God as your thought. In many cases, there are many believers listen to the Word of God as they have their different their their own thoughts. That's why things don't take place. 1 Corinthians 15, 31, he says, I die every day, Paul confessed. To listen to the word of God for that day, he said he dies every day. Even Jesus said to the disciples, Matthew 16, 24, he says, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. We are the people in the Christ. Do you believe that? Is that correct? Are you really in the people uh, in in the Christ? If so, do not be deceived by yourself. If you are surely the people uh, in the Christ, if you're not, you need to have have your own thoughts and your plans. But if you are in the Christ, do not be deceived by yourself. Even you, you, you. You, even yourself cannot do anything about you, you. You cannot control yourself. How can you take care of yourself? Because we cannot take care of ourselves. That's God has came to take care of you completely. That's why God gave you the Christ. And that Christ is with you with word today. As a complete word, He is with us now with the complete word those who are accompanied with complete word we will be able to enjoy all the blessings in t uh, today's pulpit reading do not just simply listen to the sermon but you need to re receive as the voice of God the, the early church the secret they could uh, succeed is Acts 2.42 they devoted themselves to, to the apostles' teaching and to to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and no and to prayer. What's the most important thing? And a teaching of apostles' teaching. They devoted. They did not listen to the sermon or, uh, only, but they heard it as a voice of God. That's why the great work happened. They were able to overcome all the persecutions and uh, conquer uh, the Rome. That's what it says in Acts 2.42. 1 Thessalonians 2.13, it says, When you receive the word of God, which you heard from us, you accept it not as the word of man, but as it actually it is the word of God. which is at work in you who believe, it says. If you hear the word as a voice of God, regardless of your standard, it, it is going to work in you. It is not important whether, whether the speaker is good or not. Whoever speaks on the pul uh, pulpit, those who listen as a voice of God, their spirits will leave and their lives will be revived. The time we listen to the Word of God is when the Holy Spirit works. When the Holy Spirit works when we receive the Word of God. There are many believers who have who has uh, been living the walk of faith for a long time? May you look back your uh, walk of faith, faith in your most difficult times. How did you succeed? How did you overcome? In the old days, in, in your past, 
you enter into the grace of God and you were able to see that God's guidance, God's work, you, you will be able to confess. Even when I look at myself, the most blessing time where God opened all the doors is not, is not when I did my best, but when I listened, to, when I was in the place of listening to the word of God, that's when God opened all the doors. Isn't that all the same for you? When you look upon God and receive the grace from God, then God, God is the one who's going, who's going to work. That's the principle of walk of faith. People think that they have to do their best if you receive grace. When you receive at the time, God is going to accomplish everything. Because when you listen to the word of God, Holy Spirit works. What happens when you listen to the word of God is, is the work of creation takes place. Genesis 1, 1 to 31, God created this world with his word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Because God created this world with his word. When you listen and accept the word of God, then the uh, work of creation will take place in you. When you listen to accept listen to the word as the choir prays today is the life was the light to so hold hold on to the life hold on to the uh, word of life then you will have a power of life in your uh, walk of faith Let's say this again, the Word of God is living and active. It has a, has a power to save the soul and spirit joints and marrows. When you hold on to the Word of Life and pray, then you will restore everything in this moment. In the time of worship, this is it is truly tremendous time. The most important time of your life is time of worship. See, for souls and spirits, bones and marrow, everything will be restored. That takes place in the time of worship. Holding on to the word and pray. That's how you enter into the new grace of God. When you enter into the new grace of every day, when you the more you enjoy the new grace every day, and that you will confess that that's right, only Jesus Christ. When you truly enjoy prayer, you will confess that's right, only Jesus Christ. All the treasures are hidden in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be able to discover that. That's why the Bible speaks about one thing only. The Old Testament speaks about the Messiah who will come, the, the New Testament Messiah who, who has come. Only It talks about only Christ. There are many miracles, incidents, and the history takes place. But that's not the purpose, purpose of the Bible recorded. It is recorded to tell us the only Christ is only solution to our lives that's how why God created history and changed the world then we only have to speak about Christ only and listen to the Christ only Christ came as a true king he finished the 12 problems he crushed the head of Satan the, the reason the Son of God came is to destroy the work of the devil, it says. It is unseen, but the devil, the king of this world, as a, as a, as a father of all the non-believers and take all non-believers to the hell and tries to make the believers as a slave to him. In 
in the work of, of Satan, he uses 12 problems to drive us to uh, the fail uh, failing speed, uh, failing uh, status, all the disasters and scenes problems. The problem scenes we, because we cannot solve the sins and curses. He, Jesus Christ died on the cross. He finished all the curses and sins that we we were about to receive. That, that's how Jesus Christ freed you from all the curses and sins. And people live with the background of hell. Why problems get worse and worse? Because they live with background of hell. But Christ came as a true prophet. He closed the door of hell but and opened the door of heaven. Is John Book of John is I'm the, the way life there's no other name who can come before God. What should you what should you grab hold of today? It's only Christ. When you hold on to the Christ only and when you receive the new grace every day. I'm getting may you hold on to the the core of the message to just Christ and confess the new grace every day second the Word of God God's Word that is assured in the field the God's Word that is assured in the field with this we call this a walk of faith what is a walk of faith? It is confessing or uh, confirming, assuring uh, the word of God in your field. Even today's scripture, it says, follow them so that you may live and may go in and take possession of the land. God has allowed you to see the world evangelism if you follow the Word of God. Verse 2, it says, Do not add to what I command you and do not subtract from it. This is what we need in our field. Do not add or subtract. John Calvin, is, he says, Go if, you, if the Word says go. Stop if the Word says stop. Do not add nor subtract. Every moment, God will give you the word you need. The greatest event in the field is the fact that God gives you word. Regardless, in any field, the greatest incident in the field, it is God provides the word to you David became king. He confessed that Jehovah is my king. When he was just was shepherd, and he said, uh, "The Lord is my shepherd." When he was a soldier, he is my fortress. He is my shield. He is my uh, mountain uh, fortress. What does that mean, David? He enjoyed the word of God moment by moment. When he became the king, Jehovah is my king. When he was a shepherd, Lord, my, the Lord is my shepherd. And when he was a soldier, my Lord is my shield and fortress. Because he enjoyed the, the word of God every moment. That's, that's the confession he was able to give. Hebrew 4.16 It says You may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. The word of God is complete. 
the other people in the world may seem great to you, but is it is the grass which will wither, the flowers that will fall. Only the word of God is last forever. The word of people in the world is like the grass which will wither. Isaiah 46, let's read together a voice cry out and said, I said, why shall I cry? All men are like grass and, and their glory is like the flowers of the field. Verse 7, the grass, the grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. Verse 8, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of God stands forever. The word of God stands forever. The grass withers and the flowers fall. Everything in this world will wither and fall, but the word of our God stands forever. When you listen to the word of God, do not choose what to receive. Simply accept or listen as a whole. The word of the knowledge of the world, you need to choose because there are so many wrong things. The worldly knowledge, you need to choose, you need to select what to accept. But the word of God is complete, except as a whole. Then it becomes your shield. When the enemy attacks you in the field, it becomes a shield to protect you. It becomes a weapon to destroy the enemies in the field. Accept and listen to the word of God as a whole. May you have a spiritual uh, spiritual uh, victory in the, in the battle. Verse 3 and 4, it says, It talks about their pure. Those who follow will enjoy the blessing of the life. There was a king, King Balak, ordered the prophet Balaam to curse the Israelites. The evil king, Balak. The prophet is Balaam. The king of Moab, the king Balak, ordered the prophet Balaam to curse the Israelites, and the Balaam asked God. God told him not to. But he asked three times. Even God replied three times, uh, Prophet Balaam, did not understand. God mobilized angels using the mouth of donkey to speak uh, to the uh, prophet Balaam, but he still did not understand. It is because his own thoughts already took place in his heart and he did not receive the word of God. His own thoughts already took place in, in his heart. He did not listen or receive the word of God. That's uh, how scary the imprints are. We listen to the word of God, but we forget the, the title so easily. And when we walk up the door of this church, you forget what you hear already. You know, do you know why? Because there's so many imprints in us. When you listen to the word of God, you, you forget and you lose everything. That's why next generation is so important because the, the word needs to enter into them because enter uh, the word of God enter into them before uh, anything else enter into them that's why the next generation is so important I said this again before every Sunday there were there's a, a five-year-old remnant is, is my friend because of him <laughs> other kids 
visit my office uh, two weeks ago I saw the YouTube and he said and, and he said this is what God hates and he said he said the, the last week's he, he said uh, the last week's the title don't fight the useless uh, fight when I heard him saying that that's why the remnant he's truly remnant You say we receive training, things don't take place, but for our children, they confess the faithful, uh, uh, they confess their faith. Because Prophet Balaam did not listen to the word of God because his thoughts already took place in his heart. Peter listen to the word of God before standing before religious trial he was very conf uh, he was very firm Acts 4 12 salvation is found in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved Peter and John who experienced the answer of uh, answer of word what did they say Acts 4 19 Judge for yourselves whether it is right in God's sight to obey you rather than God. He says, I will not lose hold of listening to the word of God. Receive the word of God first. Receive correctly. Do not worry. Do not think. Just know the fact that you need to listen to the word of God. Does your worry get uh, solved when you worry? God will give you the word that you don't need to worry. If you really truly wait for the word of God, God is going to give you the word uh, first. <coughs> the word, uh, the Jesus said to the disciples, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At the time, you will be given what to say. As Jesus sent the disciples to the field, do not worry about what to say. Because He will give you what to say. Because at the time, in the time of need, God is going to give you the word that you need. We worry first, but that's not right. When you go to the field, God is going to give you the word that you need. That's not uh, that's what we experience in the field of evangelism. I was able to uh, preach the the word in the field that I would normal I wouldn't normally preach because God gives me this uh, the word to speak because God gives you the word already. That's why you need to receive the word first. If you don't listen to the word of God first, you will fail. Respect others, but do not listen to the others first. Do not think on your own, but receive the word first. Verse 4, it says, but all of you who held fast to Lord your God are still alive today. But all of you who held fast to the Lord your God are still alive today. Those who don't let leave word of God. Verse 5. Let's take a look at verse 5. See, I have taught you decrees and laws as the Lord my God commanded me so that you may follow them in the land you are entering to take possession of it. Not only you're, you're alive, not only you're alive when you are held fast to the Lord, but you will take possession. And the nation will see, and the nations 
will call us wise and understanding people. That's from verse 6 to 8. Let's take a look at verse 6. Observe, observe them carefully, for this will show your wisdom and understanding to the nations. will hear about all these decrees and, and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Verse 7, it says, The, the way the Lord our God is near us when, uh, whenever we pray to Him, God is going to give you uh, uh, work with the power when you uh, pray. And God is going to raise you as a strong nation. I will con conclude the word. This age is the uh, we, uh, this age requires the word of God. Why? The curses. We are able to see the curses of this age. It will get worse as time passes. Curses and disasters will be able. We are seeing in the field. Uh, COVID pandemic. It's, it doesn't end there. As the Bible uh, prophesies, the curses and scenes will be visible to us. In other words, the storms of uh, sins and curses continuously take place. That's why this age needs the, the Word of God the most. Apostle Paul went to the Rome Acts 27 oh, when, when he was uh, on the ship uh, the captain of the ship did not listen to the word of, of Paul but he listened to the others the result was the so storm came. The storm, uh, the the age of, this is the age of a storm of curses and curses. That's the age we're living in. That's why we need to start the day by grabbing hold of the word. And when you start your week, grab hold of the uh, word first. Then that word will save you and your family and your filled and you save your next generation and it, it will appear as evidence may you start your life and walk of faith with the word that God is giving you may we accompany with complete word and May we be used as an evangelist to save this world. 